Hey everyone, Luke here, aka Stone Mosaic, and here with another comic review. This time of Harker, the Book of Solomon. Um, this is a British series, a couple of British um, police detectives um, investigating a murder um, with a bit of um, a bit of uh, black humor as they're, as they're basically investigating um, this uh, satanic cult and people who have been murdered as a result. And um, I forget where exactly I heard about this. I think I was looking up Crime Comics and uh, something on Reddit or some other site somewhere that I, where I found this, this particular book. Got it uh, yet again through my library's interlibrary loan system, which is awesome, because otherwise I wouldn't have known how good the series was. Um, I would have been, been buying blind, which I'm okay with for some books if I hear a lot of good reviews about it. But this was a pretty um, interesting book. I'm not totally sure what I think about it. I'll probably come to some sort of um, some sort of great by the end of this video, but it's, this is done in black and white. Let me just show you the art. Um, it's written by Roger Gibson and Vince Danks does the art. Black and white, kind of interesting style. Um, not too complex, but still pretty good at getting uh, uh, emotions across. Um, it's pretty interesting how how there was a decent amount of, of um, sort of black humor to sort of bring some uh, levity to the, the story, which otherwise could have been pretty dark and disturbing, even though it is for a lot of um, a lot of the book. Um, I'm trying to think about the, the plot, what, what I thought about it, because it's sort of a misdirection here, and who they think did really, really didn't, and I'm not too sure um, about the reasoning behind ultimately who they chose to be the murderer who you know they have for real life but um I feel like it was a pretty good story overall there's some uh, black humor and if, if that's your thing then this, this is pretty good to uh, check out I don't know how available this is at your local library but it's it was, it was pretty decent um they are took a bit of getting used to I'm still not sure that that's really my favorite style but it it was all right by me, I think definitely having it in black and white helped sort of lessen um, uh, the impact of the violence because you have people being with their you know, entrails spilling out and some pretty uh, nasty murders. Um, but luckily there's some, um, luckily uh, black and white sort of helps to soften the blow, I guess. Um, i trying to think about what else. Um, for the first part of the book, I thought that Parker, the guy, the main character, was a little underused. It felt like Critchley, his um, bald, goateed um, associate, was sort of featured a bit more. But I think that's because he sort of um, believed everything about these this say, say, that this they had a cult and that this Book of Solomon, which is this occult book, um, was ultimately behind it. Whereas Harker was skeptical, and he's sort of the the old school detective, doesn't carry a phone. Um, and, it, and it's much more tied to the toward toward um, proper police work. I think, as he as he put it in one in one part of um, the book. But um, overall, I think it's definitely interesting. Give it a shot if you're interested in um, uh, crime comics. You, you know, um, I'm not sure if there are people out there who dislike British comics. I feel like this was all right. I feel like. Um, Maybe if they tweaked a bit of the plot a little bit to make um, the murder a little more plausible, because the way that he the, the, the murderer is described, it, it doesn't really make sense that he would that he would um, be killing these these people. And yes, I spoiled it. That it is a he, but there are quite a few he's in this book, so it's not um, not really a spoiler. Um, but anyway, I think I'll probably give it a seven out of ten. It was ultimately pretty good couple things here and there I wasn't too crazy about, but ultimately give it a shot. Hopefully your library has it. Um, and let me show you what I'm going to review next time. Batman Haunted Night. Now, um, I haven't really been talking about my release schedule for these videos. I don't know how many people even subscribe and watch every single video. Um, um, but I've been trying to re release um, uh, these, co these comic review videos Monday, Wednesday, Friday um, didn't really happen this week, so I'm getting this 
second review, which should have been on Wednesday, on Saturday. Hopefully by uh, Sunday or Monday I'll have this Haunted Night book um, review out. I wanted to get it done um, and have it released on um, Halloween, but unfortunately it's November 1st and I haven't got around to it yet, so um, don't hold it against me. Um, I may have to shift reviews back or maybe, um, I don't know what I'm going to do, but I've been you know trying to get more videos out and you know read more comics because for a while I'll come home from work. Um, uh, during the weekend, I just wouldn't feel like I had enough energy to do anything, much less read comics. So uh, I've been trying to remedy that with Nick's success. I was doing all right until this week. Um, but anyway, hope you guys have been enjoying these videos. If you have any suggestions about things I should read, um, I probably won't get to it until after uh, the new year. Because um, I have my schedule set up pretty much through the rest of the year with um, trying to get three videos um, done every week. So hopefully that'll happen. If not, sorry, but um, you know I'm just trying to I don't know, make myself read more comics, which should, which uh, shouldn't sound like it's um, work. Sometimes when I get home, it's it can be pretty tough for me to want to do anything. So uh, anyway, um, that's all I got for you guys. So uh, until next time, we'll be reading.